My name is Marcia Maxwell, owner of MBM Swim. I asked you all in the last video what you wanted to see. A lot of people were really interested in the design process. So um, that's what I'm gonna cover here, like at least how I initially come up with my designs and um, how I am able to get them out of my head and onto uh, paper or in my case, iPad. <laughs> I have the iPad Pro and I have the Apple Pen and um, I use Procreate, the program Procreate to, uh, to write out my designs. My very, very first collection actually was, uh, it took me a long time to design it. It was me coming up with different designs over the span of maybe like a year. I jotted down ideas at any chance that I got or any time I thought of some and I found that the more that I do it and the more that I be creative and just get my ideas out and onto the pad, um, the more ideas that came to me. I actually designed my second collection, which I call my warrior collection while I was in China. I was there um, visiting my manufacturer because I wanted to make sure that their that my bulk order that was going out for Victoria's Secret was absolutely perfect. So I had to have eyes on and there for the entire process from cut to creation, just to make sure that they got every detail right and to just do some quality control checks. But, um, but I wasn't there, you know, like over the shoulder the entire time. So while I was there, I had time to create and to be, be creative. And I just sat in the coffee house or in a, um, in a uh, Starbucks actually. I had a table that was facing the window and I could see all the people walk by. And I love people watching because it does get me in kind of a creative space because I can see everyone's fashions and you know, just how you know interesting people are. So I feel like it was, I was in a really good place to create that collection and I ended up just getting out my entire collection while I was there and because I was still there, being able to go over it with the manufacturer um, of exactly all the details and everything that I wanted. And I call it my warrior collection because um, it's very structured, it's very like unique. And for me, I felt like I love creating pieces that women just feel empowered and they feel uh, great in. So just having that structure, the boning, it's almost like armor. Um, and it's almost like, uh, you know, a superwoman. So let me get into how I get my ideas out of my head and actually onto my pad. I have this case because I'm very clumsy. So I gotta make sure it's, uh, it's protected. I have the large um, iPad, but I just opened up Procreate. I have a, um, this little drawing that I, drew up a while ago. I started with like a template and I just colored it in and made it like, I like kind of um, designing on something that looks like skin tones because I can see how it plays against the colors and it really just comes to life in my head that way. So from here, I just, you know, pick a pen and just start drawing. There's infinite amount of space or things that I can draw on my iPad. So I just go for it. Like I draw a bunch of different styles and here I have the front and the back. So, um, well actually let me, let me hit record so you all can see. Um, yeah, so I have the front and the back here. So I usually just start off with a basic like outline of what I wanna do. It doesn't have to be perfect. For me, I just really get my ideas out there. Um, I usually generally like uh, really high cut sides and things like that. So I might start there. Um, I like for it to be very sexy. Um, yeah. I like for it to be very sexy. So I know I want something really high cut. Um, you know, I like really deep neck, so I might go there and then just really play with maybe like color blocking or something that I want to do uh, for the design that you see behind me. I literally just, um, I don't even know, I just create, I just draw and whatever comes to mind, that's what I, uh, what I do. Now I do it 
way neater than what I'm uh, <laughs> doing it right now. But sometimes, you know, the initial draft is very sloppy. And let me show you guys the progression of a design for this design that's right behind me, actually. So first I drew, um, let me get one with the back on it. Yeah, so initially, for instance, I drew something like this, right? So this was my um, my beginning design, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, that's nice, that's kind of sexy, and then I'm thinking maybe this, uh, the V might be a little bit too risque for some people, so I added some side panels. So I'm like, okay, that's nice, that's nice, I like it. My uh, creative style is very sleek, sophisticated, elegant, and I love the colors black and white. As you all see, like a lot of my designs are either black or they're white, or black and white. Um, so for me, this was, you know, putting a, a tad of color, but it is a more sophisticated color. I have a bunch of swatches. And actually, let me get the swatches. Okay, so first, when I'm trying to decide my color, I kind of go through all of the swatches that I have. I have so many, like so many different fabrics to choose from. There's matte, there's shiny, there's, um, you know, some textured fabrics that I have, um, like ribbed fabrics. I have uh, some other, you all might recognize some of these colors from my Karma swimsuits. I used uh, this nice bright pink and the very neon, what's this called? Light yellow, no, they call it light yellow. But yeah, so I looked through, I put all of these out actually. All of my colors that I could possibly choose from, I spread them out and I literally like try to put the pieces together. Sometimes I cut little pieces off and put them together, see what colors might go well. But then I try to replicate the color in Procreate and do them in a lot of different colorways to figure out uh, what color I wanted um, and what color I might like. Uh, I went through so many of these. But this one ended up being the winner as far as the colors that I had to choose from that were offhand to me without um, getting them made, like a special color made from the manufacturer or from the uh, fabric supplier. My next step is literally, well, actually for this one, I actually sewed one a sample myself and um, and then I took the measurements of everything and sent it over to the manufacturer for them to do the first sample. But anyway, so that's how I just wanted to show you all just you know how I use Procreate to come up with my designs, um, the initial uh, samples and everything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know if, uh, if this is helpful to anyone. No, I shouldn't say that. So that's how I come up. So that's how I use Procreate to come up with my designs and how I get it from my brain into the pad. If you have any questions, please comment below. I would love to hear them. I will do another video to try to clarify. Um, there's plenty of videos out there on how to work Procreate. It's awesome. I love it. It's my favorite app on my iPad. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when my next video is uploaded. So, I'll see ya.